Good afternoon. A former Royal Marine and UKIP councillor who murdered his Scottish wife has been jailed for life. Stephen Searle suffocated his wife Anne, who grew up in Arbroath, at their home in Suffolk. The attack happened after Mrs Searle discovered her husband had been having an affair with their son's partner. After killing her, Searle made a 999 call to police. Yeah, I've uh, just killed my wife. A bit different for you tonight, I expect. And how have you killed her? Um, suffocation, really, I guess. Uh, bit of a bizarre situation, but, um, you know, don't mind. A teenage boy has been found dead following a major search at a reservoir in Paisley. The 14-year-old was with friends when it's thought he got into difficulty in the water. Emergency services launched a search after the alarm was raised at Glenburn Reservoir yesterday evening. Police say they are not treating his death as suspicious. A cargo ship has run aground in the Pentland Firth. Six people were on board the Priscilla when it beached onto the Pentland Skerries at around half past three this morning. The ship is not believed to have sustained any significant damage and there is no sign of any pollution. An operation is underway to try to refloat the vessel. Strike action at Aberdeen Airport has been averted after staff accepted a final pay offer. The revised deal was put to around 170 members of the Unite Union who had threatened to stage three 24-hour stoppages beginning on Friday. Firefighters, security staff and airfield operations were demanding the same pay increase as colleagues at Glasgow and Southampton airports. The world's top golfers are making final preparations on the eve of the Open Championship. It's been a day of fine-tuning ahead of the battle for the Claret Jug. Four-time major winner Rory McIlroy was an amateur the last time he played in the Open at Carnoustie in 2007. I'll give it a, give it a good go this week and you know, if I were to head to Portrush with a, a Claret Jug in my possession, I'd obviously be very happy and be very proud to be the defending champion at a golf course that I know very well and, and playing in front of home fans. So, uh, geez, if it all worked out like, like that this week, I'd, it'd be, I'd be one very happy man heading out of here. Now here's Sean with the weather. sponsors STV Weather. A very good afternoon to you. Well, fairly quiet weather-wise today. A few scattered showers here and there, but they shouldn't come to too much. Although there is a risk, at least over the next couple of hours, of some heavy ones across the North Highlands and across Lewis and Harris. Top temperatures today, 19, 20 degrees Celsius with light winds. Feeling nice in those sunny spells. Lots of sunshine developing across western areas, the Highlands, and also across Perthshire, Stirlingshire and Argyll by the end of the afternoon and into the evening. So a lovely evening here. Clearing skies elsewhere overnight. Temperatures 12 or 30. 13 degrees, lots of sunshine tomorrow, warm in the northeast, but clouding over with rain in the northwest later on. Bye bye. Tui sponsors STV Weather. That's all for now. Norman will be here at six with all today's news. Until then, from everyone here on the lunchtime team, have a very good afternoon. Goodbye.